Hello, this is Bob Foster, and this is a, a movie of the new LPM Simplified Remote Restart Automation Tool with the new user interface. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to the uh, my user. You can see it's browser based, and I have a. I'm going to zoom in during this video so that you'll have a good. You'll be able to see this on a small screen or whatever. But this is what the screen looks like, and it has lots of features. But today I'm going to work on the uh, the the LPM capability. So you go over here and say I want to move something. Oh, sorry. And in this case, let's say that I need to evacuate a frame because that's always much more exciting. And I you attach the tool to your different HMCs. So I have a Bob HMC and a Mike HMC. And let me uh, re refresh that. And so, in this case, the, the, L, the frame that I need to move a bunch of LPARs off of is on the mic HMC. And then it shows me all the different frames that are attached to the mic. So I have about six frames attached. And this is the frame that I want to do my LPMs, uh, move my LPARs on. So you can see there's, in this case, about 16 or 18 or whatever. And so I say I want to move all the L parts on this frame. I could say don't move them all, move one or two of them, but I want to move all. But this is a pretty big server and it's not going to fit on just one server. So I'm going to have to have multiple destination servers to choose from. So this is the partitions I want to move on this side and these are the frames that I'm going to want to try to have the tool fit onto these other frames. So I hit next and it's going to go off and it's now the tool is going to validate all those LPARs to see if they will fit. Well, first it'll do an LPM validation to make sure they can be hosted over there. Can it do, do they have the right SAN attached storage? Do they have the right VLANs? Do they have enough CPU and memory? Do they have the right V switches? So it does an, old, an LPM validation. And it's doing it to all the different servers. And if I scroll up here and down, you can see I've already had about eight or nine things successfully validate. And I'm going to scroll up and we're going to start seeing it fill up here. So the validation is going pretty quickly on this frame, or these two frames. So I'm validating all the LPARs on one frame to those other two frames. And uh, I'm scrolling up. Oh, let me make it a little bit bigger. I'm sorry because it's sort of hard to see. And so I can sort on how my validation state, and oh, I got quite a few successes. And if I sort this other way, I will see that I have some that are running validations right now. These are the ones that say they have a few seconds left to run. And you can see it's uh, happening pretty quickly here. So validation is complete. And I'll talk about these other buttons in other videos. But let me go ahead and go to the next button because I want to show you how easy it is to move things around. And let me shrink it back a little bit. Well, I'm going to keep it up like this. So right now, by default, the LPM tool is trying to put as many LPARs on this first server over here because uh, uh, the default placement policy is packing. But I want it to stripe across. So all i got to do is click this. So right now, this server is almost full. And this server's got about three CPUs left. So if I go into striping, now the tool is recalculated where these LPARs can, can fit. Now I have about two uh, CPUs left and this much memory left on each of my destinations. And to show you a cool feature, let's say that I want to change this LPAR from going to one server to another server. When I do it, you're going to see these numbers change. Right now, over here it shows 1.85 on both of them. If I move this one, oh, now... Uh, one of the, uh, I had to take a CPU off of this, but I took it from here and moved it back to there. But I want to make them evenly spread out, so I'll put it back to this one. And now we're more equal. So I have other options on this page to, uh, to uh, uh, for LPM and HBA mappings and all that. But I just want to give you a quick movie on how quick this works to move stuff. So now I'll go ahead and start moving these LPARs. So now the tool, I'm going to zoom back in a little bit here for you. Is starting to move L parts. I'm going to change. I'm going to sort by move status so we can see which ones are moving and which ones are done. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that those are currently processing. Now I'm doing eight at a time. You can do up to sixteen at a time, but I'm doing eight at a time because that tends to be the sweet spot of the LPM function on the HMC and the BIOSs and the hypervisor. 
I'm going to go ahead and go into fast forward mode here so uh, we won't make this video so long. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to resort this through. And as we start to get closer to the end, you'll start to see more and more being successful. Okay, we're no longer in fast forward mode and we're about finished moving the last LPAR. Okay, the, the LPARs have all been moved. If I scroll down here, you see that we all had success, so they all moved over. And so now the, um, uh, the customer is finished doing his or her maintenance. You know, pretend they were going to do maintenance on that frame. And now we, uh, that we want to move everything back. Let me re uh, resize this a little bit so you can see it. So now we're going to return this back. So you don't have to always return LPARs back. But in this case, we were uh, pretending that that server needed to get all the LPARs off. And we moved them off. And now that that server is repaired or uh, firmware is updated, now let's return them. So you just click on the return. And you go over here. And you try to find, and you say, okay, I had uh, a server that I just did maintenance on and moved some LPARs off of. And it was Thorad. The tool remembers that you moved it, and so it's banned it. It says, oh, I, I moved all these different LPARs for you. So you know what? I'm going to move all those LPARs back. And I click it. So all of them are moved back over there, and it shows them all over here. And now I have a nice shortcut. I don't have to do a validation before I do the move back. I can actually go ahead and do the perform LPM right away. This is a huge time saver for customers. Uh, because uh, when you go through the HMC GUI, it requires you to do a validation before you ever do a move. And uh, since we just took them off of this frame, all the story should be okay on that frame that we're going back to and the, uh, the network and all that stuff. So there's no reason to do a validation for the most part. But it would take time. Validation takes time. So let's just skip that and go off and start the LPM. And now we had had... Those L parts have been moved to two different servers. The tool knows that. The tool is going to go ahead and kick off and start moving them back to the destination server and uh, from the different uh, servers it went to. And so if I, I'm going to blow this up a little bit more so you guys can read it a little bit. So if I change my move status here, you can see some of them on 4B and uh, some of them, and here's a couple on 4D. The tool will continue to move the LPARs back to the source server and it will move them from uh, both of the destination servers uh, and intermix them and uh, then we'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this movie now because we don't want to wait around and watch for this to complete again. Thanks very much.